Why you being all dry? I don't like that. Just throwing me off. I ain't I'm not throwing you off. Why you looking away and shit? You about boring as fuck. I said no. What the hell we doing? Damn. All right, let's just walk away. What happened though? Why? Which way do I go? What do you mean, what happened? You didn't hear this woman sound like a whole dude? This way. Wait. What happened though? I didn't know. You, you said what? She too loud? She ain't coming the right way. It's just me. How am I going to cut out the... Baby, I ain't even fighting for you, baby, because you too young. Let me give me five high five. You're pretty sad. Thank you. I appreciate it. Got a lot of hair. Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. Hats off to this young brother. She's used to chaos, so she tried to get a rise out of him, and he didn't fall for it. This is exactly how you handle these type of women. Do not engage with her. Just dismiss her and move on to the next one. Kudos, young brother. Kudos. What I'm realizing is that women are a special kind of student. Let me just tell you something. I don't know what the deal is with like men now, but I had told him prior that I will be having pre and post date expenses and is that okay and are you gonna cover them? Ah uh, yes, there's nothing quite so charming as a woman charging a man for her time. I don't know if he wasn't listening or like what the deal was or whatever, but he, when I handed him the white envelope, he looked shocked. Then he opened it and it's receipts, hello, pre post date expenses, hello, like what kind of females do you be dating? Just listening to you talk, I'm trying to figure out why he asked you out on a date in the first place. And then the fact that you think you're entitled for him to pay $478 for a pre and post date expenses. So I handed it to him and he literally looked shocked at me and said, I can't cover this. It was $478 for pre and post date expenses. You asked me on a date and mind you, we really didn't even have that good a conversation because he was on his phone the whole time. And I have a very strict no phone policy on dates. Hello, you're here to pay attention to me. Look at all the effort that I had to put into to going on this date. And now you have a problem with pre and post date expenses am i the only one after listening to her babble for just a few minutes realizes that she probably had nothing to say worth listening to which was probably the reason why he was on his phone boy she must have really had a slamming body you said you don't object if it's older man younger woman and they're just hooking up it's their business but you do object older man younger woman serious long-term monogamous relationship i would look at that older man and i would wonder what is going on with his mental health that he needs to date someone who is young enough so to he's be his mentally, daughter now older men sure. are mentally ill sure. for being attracted sure. to young adult women yeah that's They're creepy it's it's creepy no it's a mental illness i think so so just to be clear sure. your position is men are mentally ill for desiring young adult women so like 21 year old women it's mental illness it's like yeah why would you want to date your daughter what so let me see if i have her logic correct it's creepy for an older man to be in a respectable responsible relationship with a younger woman but it's not creepy for an older man to be irresponsible and have bedroom action with her then just toss her to the side when he's done having his way with her okay I don't, I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on how, based on my size. Look, you just caught him short. We don't want a woman that's only going to base us based off our height. I'm six yeah. foot four, he's five eight. But you but said I that he's disqualified because he's five eight. I didn't judge his character. But okay, but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you. Okay, but that's not saying. And we're saying, but, but look, look, time out. The same way he doesn't qualify for you, <laughs> with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. And that's what you have to realize. But me as a person, I'm not going to qualify for a lot of guys because because that's life. Give me a second. Aww. It's okay. Do you want a hug? Take like your time. It's fine. See how they do us with this double standard mess? She won't date him because he's too short, according to her standard. But when he tells her that men won't date her because of her weight, now she thinks it's unfair. If women can have preferences, then men can too. Yesterday I was supposed to hang out with this guy, but it was getting kind of late. So I texted him and I was like, hey, it's kind of late. Like maybe you should just like rain check. And he responded saying, okay, sounds good. Excuse me? And here it comes. And I was like, what, LOL? And he's like, you propose to reschedule. Like it's a bit late for you said. I was like respecting your boundaries and like, yeah, we can meet up another time. So he's respecting your boundaries. Now, how could you possibly have a problem with that? And I was like, <laughs> You think you're funny? You're supposed to respond saying, no, I need to see you. I'm outside. Your doorman's blocking the door. Like, what? I was hoping she was joking, but in this day and age, she's probably not. 
he was like, wait, why are you mad that I was just like listening and like respecting what you wanted? And I was like, exactly, exactly. Well, if you ever wonder why so many men are dropping out of the dating pool here in Western culture, you just witnessed one reason why. <laughs> okay. One guy okay. was nice, came to your house, opened doors to cars and everything, and you mm -hmm. called him corny. I, I showed did. That. I showed did. Let's talk about this first. Okay. So, so, go ahead. T tell us the story. Okay. So, so there was a gentleman who came to my house. Not only did he come to my house, when I opened the door, he met me at my door with flowers what a guy. and chocolate. Okay. And chocolate. And chocolate. Mm. He then took me to his car where he also opened my car door and you know got in the driver's seat and we went to the restaurant i immediately went to group chat and told my friends he was corny now i'm gonna sound like the old dude i really am back in the day that was the thing to do to meet the young lady at the door bring her flowers and candy open the car door for her when you take her out on a date tell her sherman's grandmama if a nice gentleman bring me flowers and candy take me to the movie then i would take him home and give him the hot lovely relate y'all we're having a dating crisis in 2024, if you haven't noticed. No, you women have a dating crisis. What are we doing about this? What is with this we? I don't know why she keeps speaking French, but the men have already come up with a solution. To hell with dating. Those who are still in the matrix have gotten a solution covered. They're doing all the things that they love to do whenever they want, however they want, as long as they want, without being stressed out or getting into any unnecessary arguments. The dating apps don't work. People don't mean what they say. They don't do what they say. I'm at a loss. I'm a 40 year old single mom. I feel like we need to strategize here. Are there any new ways of doing dating? For the men, yes. And it goes a little something like this. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Do we have any ideas? You ladies have to do like us men did. Figure it out on your own. Am I missing something? Yes, you're missing the fact that women started this mess by saying that you don't need a man. We heard it and we complied. Because I'm tired, I'm just tired in general. If you're tired and you're just 40, just think how you're gonna feel when you're 50 and 60. I'm tired of dating. I'm tired of wasting my time. Um, I just feel like we need a plan. There she goes speaking French again. Wee oui, wee. Oui. You know, we need to come up with something. Because whatever we're doing on both ends is just not working. Don't you agree? We agree wholeheartedly. That's why the majority of us men stop dating in Western countries. Any ideas, anybody? Because I'm just over it. Glad you're over it because it's downhill from here. For the ladies, that is. Can we stop inviting the broken cheap friends to the group birthday dinner? Nobody has time to be doing fifth grade arithmetic when the check comes. Nobody wants that. I don't want to hear about, well, I only had a water and she had a Coke and he had a glass of wine so I shouldn't have to pay as much. I only had one potato skin out the appetizer and she had three and he had two mozzarellas. Ain't nobody caring. What we're going to do is we're going to take that check and we're going to divide it by how many people are at the table and that's how much everybody's going to pay. And that's what it's going to be. You might have to eat a few dollars and you're just going to have to accept that. If that is a problem, don't come. Just stay your at home. That's it. So she says broke people should stay at home. So let's do her math and we'll only use two people to keep it simple. So let's say one person orders a salad that costs $7. Then she orders a lobster dinner that costs $40. When the bill comes, that's a total of $47. She says you should split the bill right down the middle no matter what you order. So if we split the $47 bill, that total would be $23.50 each, which means my $7 salad cost me $23.50, and she gets a $40 lobster dinner for $23.50. Now, can somebody remind me of who's the broke person here? Because it sounds to me like she's trying to get a more expensive dinner for half the cost. She's right though, broke people should stay at home the broke people like her trying to get over on others. Bye, Felicia. And now, for the winner of today's video, women are a special kind of stupid. What I'm realizing is that women are a special kind of stupid. You said that you effed a whole platoon. Oh, yeah. What's the story there? Oh, yeah. Jeannie, how many, dudes were in, how many dudes did you sleep with? Probably at that time, like 20. The whole platoon. 
Was it the yeah, whole book? What, what, what span of time was this in? This is a span of time. Keep watching, because it gets worse. This is a span of time. No. It, yes, it was. <laughs> cool. Like, was this like over the span of like five days or like two weeks? Oh, oh, this is a span of like 20 and maybe one week. The fact that these young ladies are comfortable coming on camera, on a podcast, and tell the whole world this is my boy. What? I mean, one month, one month, one month, probably a month. Because I was like, how did they all, feel? How did they all feel about it? Were they like fist bumping one another? Did yeah, they like would bring you? me new guys. They would be like, Jeannie, the next batch is here. What? Like, And I, I was just going a little crazy then. I only have one word for this young lady. <laughs> Here's the real question, Jeannie. What's your relationship like with your dad? Now it's good. It wasn't. He left before I was born. Blame the father. I do have that issue. If nothing else, social media has shown us that too many of these women nowadays have no basic moral values anymore. Even though this video may not be posted on her social media page, it's still out there for everyone to see. And this is exactly why I tell you guys that if you're gonna date one of these young ladies in Western culture, be sure that you stalk her pages to see what she's talking about and what she posts. And if you ever see her on any video bragging like it's cool to give up her juice box to a whole platoon of guys and then give it to another platoon of guys that the first platoon of guys invited to get some of her juice box, if I was you, I wouldn't take it as an invite to partake. Because if your friends ask you, how was your experience with her? You might have to say, The boom tank is dope and you know that I rocked her. But three days later, go see the doctor. Hey, somebody had to tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. And he opened it and it's receipts. Hello? Pre post date expenses. Hello? Like, what kind of females do you be dating? So, if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared. <laughs>